Honey. Uh, in the beginning, when I was a little kid, there was a Mike Tyson, and it was like a 14, 15 years old, that was uh, Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr., your style reminds a lot of people a lot of Roy Jones Jr. with the way, uh, with how fast your hands are, sometimes fighting with your hands down. Uh, what can you say you learned the most in your fight with Salito, with that one loss that you've changed now going forward in your career? Твой стиль напоминает, конечно, когда вот смотришь иногда Рой Джон Джуниор, ты то есть опускаешь руки и выпрыгиваешь, как бы идешь вперед и хорошая защита. Но что бы ты мог сказать, что самое больше ты выучил в бою с Алидом? Больше всего я выучил с Алидом, что в принципе нужно защищать не голову, а яйца. Uh, the most what I learned from about in the Salido, uh, what the most you have defend not your head but your balls. Okay. <laughs> One last question. Um, <laughs> yeah. You mentioned before. You mentioned before that you know the other champions don't want to fight him. Is it a double-edged sword to be so talented? and to be avoided, or is that, you know, a gift in itself that he's that accredited as being such a great fighter? You said a lot of champions don't want to box you. So it's like a punishment for you, for you, it's like a punishment for you, it's like a punishment for you, it's like a punishment for you. For me, it's a punishment for me, a punishment for me, that I can't do the end of the end. Uh, for me, it's other champion is not coming to fight me. For me, it's kind of like a... Um, uh, it's, 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 it's not sadness. Yeah, for me, it's kind of like sadness because I cannot demonstrate all my talent I have. Thanks a lot, sir. Appreciate it.